Uh, so my name is Rob Underwood. I'm the director of programs for Finos. Uh, we have 10 programs and about 105 projects, uh, about an equal number of GitHub and GitLab repositories that sit within uh, those projects. Um, if you're interested in learning any uh, more about our projects or programs, come find me. We'll also be doing a, a lightning round a little later, and you can hear more about it. Um, but uh, I wanted to introduce and, uh, Nima Raphael, who's the chief technology officer at Goldman Sachs. And you maybe you could tell us a little bit about yourself, and then we'll get into the business of the, the matter today. Yeah, so chief data officer. Yeah, sorry, chief data officer. Sorry. Uh, I practiced that like 10 times. <laughs> Yeah, hi, Nima Rafael. I've been at Goldman about 16 years, always as a software developer at Goldman, uh, both on the tech side and, and strat side, quant side, um, and currently run our data data group, um, and I'm the co-chief data officer for Goldman. Cool. Sounds like an uh, interesting job. It sounds like even more interesting than maybe a chief technology officer. <laughs> um, so uh, some folks might have heard the buzz, but... So I think you came here to announce something. I'm, I know I'm going to be surprised, yes. so I'm excited about it. But maybe you'd like to tell us a little bit about what, what brings you here and what you're here to announce. Yeah, first I want to say thanks, everybody, uh, for having us at OSSF. We at Goldman, we're huge proponents, um, big fans of open source and the open source community. And we also love uh, Finos for pushing sort of that community forward in the financial services. So thanks for having us. Uh, yeah. Today, I'm uh, super excited to announce um, our intention to open source one of the key cornerstones of our data ecosystem at Goldman Sachs. It's a data platform we've been building internally for a number of years called Alloy. So, pretty cool. So what actually is Alloy? Uh, some people call it a, a data modeling tool. You know, I think it's much uh, broader than that. I, I sort of describe it holistically as a data management and data API platform. What exactly does that mean? Um, you know, Alloy lets you basically design, build, publish data pipelines and data APIs uh, and gives a platform for you to reliably run those um, APIs and and pipelines in a in a hosted service. So, now is there? There's also the pure element, the modeling language itself, which yeah, is so interesting too. That's right. So, pure and Al we, we we call the whole ecosystem alloy now. Pure is the underlying, you know, language or DSL we use to describe that data. Um, you know, I I recognize I used a bunch of sort of buzzwords there, so maybe just to give a concrete example of that's okay. The creator of C plus plus is coming up after you, so I think we're good on the technical stuff. We'll just keep going here. Yeah, I can't. If we that. get into a, you know a lengthy explanation of monads, we'll know that we've gone too far. But right. I think it's okay with this crowd. So so how maybe tell us a little bit more about how Pure and Alloy work together. So Pure, as I understand it, is a DSL, and then uh, Alloy, the larger ecosystem. Um, but also the modeling tool is something that can be used to generate pure models. And then I think, as I understand it, those models can then be used to actually affect changes in underlying physical databases and stuff like that. Yeah, so may maybe I'll just start with a concrete example. Yeah, sure, that'd be great. Or instead yep. of talking in the abstract. So, yep. you know, say you want to use some data for analysis or you want to share some data with a, with a, a broader team, different team. That team could be, you know, internal to your org. It could be a client, it could be a counterparty, or even potentially a regulator. Um, and, and say you want to share, that, share some data, some trade data, right? And that trade data comes from various different sources, um, different, it'll have different attributes. You know, trade could have trade date or quantity, direction, whatever. But it also has linkages to, you know, different other data sets. So maybe account or client data, maybe a variety of uh, product attributes from a product master or even people information like who the trader was, salesperson, customer. Um, and so what Alloy really lets you do is simply and consistently sort of define those concepts as business concepts and then let you normalize the data to those business concepts and publish it for users to self-serve uh, through APIs and UIs. Cool. 
So it sounds like you're doing a ton of modeling using Alloy, generating pure models within Goldman. Um, and as I understand it, part of what's going to happen now is, is that by open sourcing this, it's going to be an opportunity to, for the industry to use uh, Alloy to do some common and shared modeling. What do you sort of what do you see as sort of the benefit of of um, sort of taking what you're currently doing internally at Goldman in terms of the modeling, and then we'll get into the code in a second. But the modeling piece, what, why do that yeah. with your industry partners and your competitors and everyone else? Totally. Yeah. I mean, look, look, just even internally, right? I think it's been a huge boost for Goldman just to talk about their data in a consistent manner. I think if you take nothing away, the way that we've sort of defined concepts use the same words for the same concepts across the firm has had an enormous, enormous benefit. Now, usually that's sort of uh, disjoint from the actual execution of, of getting data, but the pure alloy sort of world is actually the modeling piece and the execution piece. So you get to, you get to describe it consistently, but also query and retrieve your data, whether you're a developer, engineer, or non-engineer, in a consistent fashion through the same APIs and description language. So, um, we've seen enormous benefits just across teams, and I think we just want to bring that sort of out to the world to share across not just internal teams, but across the industry and across clients and counterparties. And, and again, like I said, potentially even regulators who could form, more formally specify things that, that, we, that we could all sort of um, explain together instead of like in a Word doc or PDF, right? Totally. So it sounds like this is, you know, this is a substantial piece of really two pieces of software that work together. Um, and I would imagine there's a lot of work to sort of take this Goldman code and sort of decouple it and abstract it and modularize it and uh, all that good stuff. Um, so what's the rough timeline for how this is going? I understand there's going to be a pilot in January, and then where is it kind of going from there? Yeah, so we're working closely with the Finos crew and, and some of the GitLab crew to actually completely, as you mentioned, decouple it from GS systems and actually get it running in the cloud. And I, and I believe Finos is actually going to be running. Yep. So yep. that's amazing. So that'll prove, I guess, to us and the world that you know this has no sort of ties to Goldman uh, as we open source it. Uh, so first in January, we'll actually have it running hosted in Finos. Yep. Um, and then uh, we're planning in the middle of next year to release the full platform code. All yep. of it. Yeah, so and and so there's a pilot period starting in January for the first uh, roughly the first quarter. So um, there'll be more information. There's a press release that's probably gone out by now, uh, and then a fact page. So if you're interested in getting involved in the pilot uh, during the first quarter, you can take a look at that. Um, what do you see as being sort of the longer term benefits to so you've been involved in the open source movement, uh, Goldman has for a while. Um, a lot of sort of the origin story of Finos goes back to open source efforts by Goldman and a number of the other investment banks. Um, what do you see as sort of the the, the benefits and, and why are why is uh, Goldman getting ever more into not just the Finos community, which we appreciate, but just the open source effort more generally? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'll just m maybe talk personally for a minute, and then Goldman. Like I'm, you know, I'm a computer scientist at heart. I uh, I'm sort of a hippie. I went to school in Berkeley, and so I, we we think you know software should be shared, and and especially public utilities that could help all of us. Um, you know, from a Goldman side, obviously we care a lot about um, the the open source community. We consume a lot of open source, and we want to publish back. I see a lot of faces here who've pioneered that. Don Rob, here. So um, you know, we 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 care about it for talent retention, for keeping up with with the world at large and, and software is a new world now. You have to be both in it and consuming it or else you know, you're not a technology shop. Great, and when you start getting pull requests, you know, once you've, you know, the code's already and it's been, you know, you know, middle next year or so, it's been made available in a GitLab repository. What do you see as being some of the benefits, the developers being able to do actual pull requests, the underlying code to pure and alloy? What are some benefits of that, do you see, along with the actual modeling itself? Absolutely. Look again. I think we want to put uh, we want to put this out there. We we hope people find it useful for them, and and we hope that we grow the community together. Right. Again, the the point of sort of giving this over to Finos, and and sort of providing it to the community is that it's a community asset now, and 
and that people could help us push the platform in the direction that everyone wants uh, instead of one instead of one team wants. Great. So we already have uh, several ba other banks that have uh, indicated their interest in participating in the pilot. If you're interested, um, you know, find me or uh, find the form, uh, and we'll talk more. Nima, this has been fantastic. Thank you so much. We're excited that you you made this decision. We'll rock on. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Great job. Thank you.